Hi everyone, uh, we are Brooke K and today we are doing TTS presentation system. My name is Kim, this is Stacy and Henry Salsoy. Just to give you guys a brief introduction, TTS presentation started its operation back in 1990 and today is one of the world's largest dealer of presentation technological equipment and services. They actually focus a lot on corporate, education, government and non-profit <laughs> markets. Basically what they sell is, like you can see the projectors out here. The current situation is this, SDSU ITS department is the buyer, they actually contacted um, <coughs> TCS regarding an upgrade of the purchase. Uh, in the past, SDSU has actually purchased from TCS before, they bought the GT915 system, the MT2000 system, and over 45 classrooms here in the states are equipped with the GT95 system, and then only a few classrooms are equipped with the MT2000. And then this is the GT950 system was purchased from TCS about five years ago. And the problem with it is that it's not bright enough when it's compared to the 2000 system. As you can see, the one on top, that's the GT950 system right there. And a little more about the new MT2000 system. It has a lot of newer features. For example, the lens shift function, the digital 3D reform, geometric correction, three-year warranty, 800 to one contrast ratio, and then you project an image of up to 4,000 lumens.
me more about the 950s. Well, the 950s, um, we currently have a large um, stock of mm -hmm. the bulb for the 950 projectors, and we, I think that's one of the main reasons why we haven't looked to update the projectors, just because, you know, we want to run through a bulk of those lamps. I see. I understand your situation, but if the, if the NEC 950s are running through your lamps at a faster rate compared to, say, like the 2000s, that can be very costly in the, in the long run. Um, if you don't mind, um, would you be interested and hearing more about the 2000s and how they can benefit you at ITS? Yeah, of course. Okay. Well, I went ahead and printed out a brochure um, describing the NEC 2000. I'll just go ahead and describe, like, describe for you some of the great features that this projector carries. Not only does it operate with 800 to 1 contrast ratio, but it also has, let's see here, a lens shift function that makes any projected image um, at any unfavorable angle really like just excellent. It wouldn't distort the image in any way and there wouldn't be any loss of quality whatsoever. Also we have another thing here called digital 3D reform and um, geometric correction. Um, basically you can be able to project this onto any surface, like whether it be con a concave surface or a convex surface, the projector would actually adjust itself so that way it will be displaying a flat image without any distortion or loss of quality, much like the function. <coughs> No quality is damaged at all, and like all everything is there. Um, yeah, it is, it is. Direct power off and cool for cool independent cool down function. It's really like this one of the new things that's been like showing up, especially with the N NEC 2000. Um, really innovative because basically, say you or a professor or a staff member need are in a like big rush to make a presentation. Mm -hmm. It doesn't require the power to uh, like have it cool down. They don't have to have it like plugged into the wall. Exactly. They have it pulled down. Exactly. Recommend. So in case you need to run from Storm Hall all the way back to Adam's Humanity okay. and you just finished a presentation in Storm Hall, you wouldn't have to leave it plugged in. You can just like unplug it real quick and go be on the go. Whereas for the NEC 950s, you'd have to wait at least three minutes or so to let it cool down until you can fire it up like again or even move it. Okay. I can see that being very convenient. <clears throat> okay. And can you see how all these features would benefit ITS and the faculty and staff members? Yes, definitely. Can you tell me more? Yeah, sure. Well, not only does the NEC 2000 have increased security and a three-year warranty, they also operate on 4,000 ANSI lumens, which, base, which is actually twice the amount compared to the 950s. The 950s only operate at 2,000 lumens, whereas, a, whereas the 2000 runs at 4,000 ANSI lumens. Mm -hmm. um, simply put, you can have all the lights on in a, in a room, and the quality <coughs> is not affected at all. I, I noticed that like sometimes you would have to turn off the lights for when you're for, like using the NEC 950 to really make the image much more clear. But for the 2000s, it's not a problem. And also, wall color is not an issue. I know that you, you're projecting onto a blank white a blank white screen. Mm -hmm. However, in case you have to present without the screen, like say like onto a chalkboard or something, it would always display its true colors. Now like. The NEC 2000 is a great step forward into innovative products that are meant to like maximize <coughs> presentations. Um, can you see how all of these things and features benefit <coughs> ITS and the faculty and staff? Now, um, I like everything that you're saying. Mm -hmm. It sounds great, but um, I just don't think that you know, with all the features for this 2000 mm -hmm. projector, that we would use them in the classroom. I see. I, com I completely understand your situation. Um, I know that in smart classrooms you do have a, a limited number of <coughs> things to use, but the NEC 2000s can like can find a home elsewhere or always can find a like use elsewhere. Um, for example, if you need to present in venues like Montezuma Hall or outside of Scripps Cottage where a screen is not used, you can be able to present it onto a wall, no problem. There wouldn't be any distortions to the image or any loss of quality. So even though they won't find a, a purpose serve a purpose inside a smart classroom, they'll always have something where you'll always like, have a way to use them or find somewhere to use them. So everything is still used in the end. Okay, well like um, before this meeting I went ahead and did some calculations on the projectors and I found a lot of interesting figures that you might find find interesting. Okay. Well as you can see here like in these calculations, the NEC two thousand runs for $5,999, so let's just say $6,000. And for each lamp replacement, it's 
$25 for each lamp replacement. For the NEC 950, however, each projector costs $7,295, and each lamp replacement costs $500. Now, assuming that in the, for just one projector, for a single day, a projector runs anywhere between 6 to 14 hours per day, and say 30 to 70 hours per week. Well, actually, it might even be more, because we have a lot of presentations that are being um, run through the weekend throughout um, by the faculty and staff. So. Okay. Well, let's anticipate that a, a single projector in the classroom is used for 70 hours per week. And there's 16 weeks in the semester, so that would make it 1,120 hours that a projector is used. Mm -hmm. And for both semesters, it will be 2,240 hours um, for fall and the spring. Now, the NEC 2000, like, like I said, mentioned earlier, it comes with a three-year warranty. So that would cover about 6,720 lamp hours um, that your like, NEC 2000 is uh, covered for. Um, as for lamp replacements, however, the NEC 950, each lamp only lasts up to 1,500 hours, whereas for a 2,000, hence the name, it would be 2,000 hours. So, within that 6,720 hour limit, mm -hmm. for the 950s, you have to replace the lamp at least four times, whereas for the 2,000, you only have to replace it three times. Now, the cost of those lamps for the 950 would come out to be $1,989.68, whereas for a 2,000, the cost for the lamps would only be $1,425. Yeah, that is. It's a five hundred and sixty-four dollars savings and sixty-eight cents. And that's just for one projector. Correct? That's just one proje projector. So, say today you were to order ten NEC two thousands, you would be saving, let's say, five thousand six hundred and forty-six dollars and eighty cents, to be exact. Now, I noticed that you seem a little bit hesitant about what I told you um, about the NEC two thousands. To be honest, I am. Um, I'm a little concerned about the price. You know. Especially with all the budget cuts going on. I understand you're like you're concerned completely. Now, the price is exactly why you should purchase um, the NEC 2000 because you would be saving, as I said, for um, $564. And let me just get the exact figure. Yeah, $564.68 to be exact. Now, for 10 projectors, that would be more than $5,000 you'd be saving in that three year period. So, price is definitely. Um, something that you should go for, like for the NEC 2000. Well, you know, I also wanted to shop around, you know, and kind of check out other presentation systems. And, you know, we, we have done business with this before. And, um, you know, I, I've been doing my own little research. And I actually pulled up um, um, a 3M X90, had all the same features and the same cost as this 2000 projector. Mm -hmm. And um, could you tell me why? Like, um, maybe why there's such a cost difference? Well, like, um, NEC is always held with the highest esteem. We've been carrying NECs for at least 10 years now, I believe, and the school has been like dealing with NECs as well. So even though there is a price difference, um, for standardization purposes, it's really important to just have it, like NECs all around, rather than say, we got one NEC here, we got one Pan Panasonic here, we got an X Epson here. Um, definitely, like, um, price can be an issue, but, like, I, but consistency is really key, especially with ITS. Like, you wouldn't want to have um, a smart classroom podium, like, like, 365 variations of it. So it's definitely, like, I understand that consistency is really key for ITS. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we haven't had a problem with this before. We've been pretty satisfied, but the service that you guys have provided this far. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate your comments. And now, like, um, would you really want to risk switching to a different presentation system company when CCS can just provide you with all your needs? Um, you might even run through the trouble of having to start with um, initial, uh, initial like, uh, accounts and initial fees. Mm -hmm. uh, you can just have CCS provide you with all your presentation needs. Right, that's always a pain. Yes, uh, it can be. Uh, and We've dealt with you, um, we've dealt with ITS, especially with San Diego State before. You're one of our most valued customers. We know what you want. We know what you need. We know how to supply those needs. So, like, 
we're, we're always here for you. Right. It's just, you know, it's, it's a really big decision, you know, it's a big purchase. I just, I want a little bit more time to think about it. I and understand. Just because, you know, yeah. dealing with the whole IDS department and the whole faculty and staff, it's, it's a really important decision and everyone gets affected by it. Definitely. And there's no rush at all, but we know, we both know bottom line that the NEC 950s are not operating at an acceptable level. Um, like, these NEC 950s could, like, fail at any time. Like, I think you may have received a call about it. Like, yeah, we actually did. Mm -hmm. like, um, we actually received a few for, like, phone calls in the mm -hmm. first few um, days of possible. Something like that is very important, and to just keep yourself up to date and letting the, letting the faculty and staff know that you're always there for them is really important, and we're always here for you. Now, if we can just set you up with the units that you need by Monday, since today is Wednesday, and on, on an agreed finance plan, would you be interested? Um, I, just, I want some more time to think about it, but, you know, I do understand from everything that we've discussed today, you know, bottom line, I do realize that the night projectors just are not working at an acceptable level, mm -hmm. and, you know, I don't, I don't think that they will, you know, get yeah. better, so, um, <coughs> agreed finance plan? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. an agreed finance plan. And when can you get the shipment in? By right Monday, all the units that you need from, well, we can always start low, like, so that way we can just see how everything's working. Um, start in, like, key classrooms, like, say, uh, GMCS 310. I know Rich, Rich, uh, Rich English is in that classroom, so I know he likes technology and everything about it. So, like, we can start with like one or two, maybe five or ten to okay. start you off. That sounds good. Okay, well, I'm just go ahead and fill out this order for me. And if I could just get you to sign right over here. Thank you very much, Stacey. Thank you. It's a pleasure meeting you.